hey mamas hey guys hey everyone welcome again to my channel so it's your favorite abuja mommy vlogger deca diary of an abuja mom if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click on the bell button to get you notified so whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to get it and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you actually enjoy my video so today we're going to be doing a reaction video i'm going to be reacting to one idea to one mindset I saw on Instagram I don't know if I've done a reaction video before so today I'm going to be doing that and if you like to see that then keep watching many of us have watched that video actually if you're following to the end not on Instagram guys when I saw that video I was mad like I've seen this lady so many so many times her ideologies have always been funny to me this is a woman and hearing what she's saying listening to her got me like effed up i was really really upset i was abagasted i was angry i felt so many emotions i felt sad for her i felt pity for her i felt angry for the women folk i felt like they don't see us finish because this one i see finish with the worry do so much and the funny thing is she's from my tribe and my tribe women are known to be strong women not saying other tribe women are not strong women i'm going to be showing you guys the video I'm going to be reacting to it one after the other. In fact, let us do it together. Let's react together because it's not limited that will suffer this this nonsense. They now force men to do one more one. It's a Christian marriage. This marriage is a Christian marriage. You must live with one wife. That is why the case of a side chick will never stop. Please, I want to ask you guys, maybe I'm not in Nigeria or I'm not in this world or I'm not just a human being. I don't know. Please, who is forcing men to do one man, one marriage? Is it women that are forcing men or is it Christianity that is forcing men? Christianity does not force. If you're a Christian or you know anything about Christianity, we know that everybody, everybody in fact knows that Christianity is a religion that is... It's, I would say it's kind of the safest religion to practice. You can do anything you want to do. There's no repercussion for it on earth. Why some other religions, as you're doing it, knocking you the punishment, you're going to feel the punishment here before you even go to wherever you're going to and go and take the second dose. All these women loitering around who will marry them when you got no Please, your husband can marry them. After all, I don't know if you have a husband, but I'm assuming you have a husband because you're talking like a professional married woman. There are so many men that can marry them. There are so many men that can marry more than one wife. When people make this kind of comment, they make it sound like it should even be a law that a man must marry more than one wife. Do you know that some men that actually do not want to marry more than one wife? Can't you marry them? After all, in the former Igbo land, the, the four times of our forefathers and our foremothers, if you're very good with our culture and traditions and our history, remember that women were actually marrying women. Especially when maybe this woman does not have a child or she wants a male child. And... Maybe it's not they come and she's not the old. She will go and marry a woman and the woman will be giving birth for her. Maybe her husband has even died. You know, she will go and marry this young girl and the girl will go and sleep with men outside. And any child she brings is that woman's own. So you can marry them. Since you want to go back to the old times, you can go back and marry this woman for yourself. And in five to ten years coming, government will have no other option than to force women on men. What do you mean by force men? Force women on men. What does she mean by that? Like this is just paining me. I don't even know what to say. That's to show you how annoyed I am at this video. What of those men that don't want to marry more than one wife that cannot even deal or don't even want to marry? Do you guys know that some men that actually do not want to marry? So when I see men that are not married in their forties, thirties, fifties, sixties, and people start saying, "Why he never married? Like why, why, why?" I'm like, "What if he doesn't want to marry or he has plan in his mind that he wants to marry when he's like 60? So that is why I am saying. You should not compare. Do not do that comparison that your husband cheat, you will cheat. Normally, every man should be living with three wives. This week, this woman will sleep with this man. Cook for him. This other week, the second one will cook. Do you know that those days, in the time of our great-grandmothers, as I am now, maybe I'm of age, I'm getting older and weak, I will bring my younger sister and give my husband to marry. Do you know that? <sighs> hope like madam hope you're giving your sister to your husband now since you want us to go to the olden days then number two let me even ask you please 
in the olden days oh, women were not tying wrappers women were not dressed like this they were not dressed the way she's dressed she's wearing like either ankara material or george I, it looks more like Ankara material. Women were not allowed to own properties, you know, later, later, later. Because I know women were owning properties before. Then later, 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 when the white man came, they, they now brought one kind, you know, things that made women to not own. Either their sons or their husbands were able to own. Women were not allowed to go to school. Why did you go to school? If you want to give your sister to your husband, if you just they use idea, they tell us how you know they do threesome or how you are just doing anything in your house. Whatever goes on in your house, it's your personal style, it's your personal way. If you want your husband to sleep with all the women in Nigeria, just come out to your full chest and say it. Oh boy, I want my husband to be sleep with all the women from Nigeria. Don't come and be forcing your stupid, aka backward thinking on us. And some men, when they watch this kind of video, their body, their home will stand. Will not be saying, yes, clap your yeah, like, like, give her code beer, give her code beer. What code beer for what? It's this kind of idea that makes men feel that. They can do whatever and get away with it. I was watching this video where this woman, her, her son went to report to the villagers or police that the father was actually sleeping with her daughter. Her, that's his sister. And I was watching the video, I was watching the woman's counting and she was actually holding her husband. That's the father to the girl. And he's not a young guy. And this guy, don't they sleep with his daughters? They sleep with his granddaughter. And when they were asking the woman that why will you do that why will you allow that you shame the woman they agree say yes yeah, say she love her why she do i'm saying she love her the man had an, a reason for doing it the man said he was doing it because his mother cost him the mother did not want him to marry his wife when he wanted to marry his wife so his mother cost him so your mother cost you say you go to sleep with your children then your wife is condoning it now this kind of woman we go if you if somebody do that kind of thing to her child she will even be telling the child why did you go there why did you go there don't you know he's a man Shh, don't talk oh, so that you will marry don't talk oh, so that you will not bring shame to our family family back all gideon that is why men are ever green everly green men are foundation world but that is why in evil and if you have not given birth to a male child you have not started <sighs> i can imagine someone that doesn't have a male child watching this video how she would feel we agree oh men are the most important special in the world we agree we, are, we know they argue but somehow when you're sick as a parent now your daughter they will carry you go to the house somehow it's mostly the daughters that remember their parents somehow somehow this same men the only achievement they can achieve in this life is to answer name to pass down the lineage that's the only achievement what makes you think your lineage was even passed down what makes you think along the way somebody did not do something and somehow your lineage is from another tribe or another village or another country what makes you think so Think about it we don't even know i feel like people like this woman i kind of people that if you are your mother-in-law so but you don't enter like you don't enter serious enter you mistakenly no bomb boy <laughs> she will finish you let us take note oh, take note of her face for future references so that in case our daughters mistakenly do careless waka and go and meet their her son i don't care this kind of woman, if my daughter bring the son, say one, I won't marry him and all that and all that, and I can't see that this woman be the mother in law. Oh boy, I don't go green. Because they fight when me and her go, they fight. Or feel they boss bottle for their house. She's really, really just insulting us because as a woman, I know my potential. I know I know what I have to offer. And somebody just looks at me like only one thing and telling me that that's why me, boy, men are uh, whatever she borogo that strong. Which men? Police, we we know. Except she she no know. That is why in marriages a woman will be menstruating and a man will have to wait. For five days or get about after menstruation, the woman will go into a village or mood swing, uh, unhappiness, not being happy, shawarma, shawarma time, um, what's it called, a, a, pizza, a pizza mood, so many moods before she come out of the mood. She will tell the man, she don't want to do sex, now I'm not interested. But in the time of our father, when you are menstruating, another woman will take over. All of you are not menstruating. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me even say something. Um, this is what I was taught during my marriage class. We're talking about you know fertility and we're advised that if you've been trying 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 and it's not what try your menstruation time so medically i think it's okay to do that but telling me that because of my period i shall let my husband marry just because of period i shall let my husband marry another wife like the tunnel that's going to fire you is being pressed up because i don't even understand can't you be patient with me let us be truthful let us be open let us be open now is there every time your husband wants to have sex morning till night Monday to Friday, I mean Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday, morning till night, is here every time. Those times that he doesn't want to, and you want to, don't you just, you know, just say, oh, make a leave, I may rest. 
So I don't know how somehow my husband cannot be patient with me when I'm my period because of Odin Day's methodology and Odin Day's culture. This kind of talk is the kind of talk that is, it sounds like men are just all only about sex. It's even belittling men for me. Before they used to say money, the man want to hustle so that he take care of his family. Now it's just sex he wants. Morning tonight. I don't understand. If this one is me, if you are menstruating, you cannot serve your husband food, you can't cook for him, you cannot sleep with him. We worship our men like God. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this one entered. I think this is the one that really entered me. Why can't I serve my husband food when I'm on my menstruation? I know it's I know it's in the Bible in the Old Testament. Because has someone really explained to me the reason? Is it that the food will be contaminated? Or like why can't I really let us just remove the religiosity of it and the culture? Just let us remove the commandment of it. Is there an after effect of it? It does it make things not work? Does it make the food not to be sweet? You know, please can you can someone expand shape? Maybe someone that is more vast in that kind of subject. Then secondly, how are men our God? So hey. But the Bible says we are all gods. So where is it? Or oh, okay, maybe in our culture, or maybe my own tribe culture. That one I not to know. Are men gods in our culture, and how are they gods exactly? Not kind of thing you be saying. Why did you do this? You just be doing like this. You won't be doing like this. You won't even say pim. You shouldn't kill yourself because of marriage. In the sense of, you shouldn't. Your life should not be um, cut down because of marriage. You shouldn't say ah. What I like doing before, I like makeup before. Oh, because of marry, my husband say, my husband say, police. But your husband say you makeup before he marry you. So somehow, I don't know how somehow he now likes you without makeup. That one is so fascinating me. Can someone explain to me? Maybe a man. My husband is my husband, the king, my life, me. But the way she's saying it, you can sense that tone of my husband is like my superior. I cannot even talk when he's talking. When he's talking, I stand at attention. But I say a romantic tone when you say my husband is my god, you know. When you're just in the mood, my husband is my god, my god, my babe, you know. Hmm. But please, this woman. Hmm. Oh boy. Our men are our god. Do you understand? But they brought, they brought Western colonization. Took our religion, took our way of life, took our culture, took our, our tradition, took our everything, collected our... Ha! What do you mean by they took, they took, they took, they took, they took? Nobody took anything, no. Now we they do them by ourselves. I don't understand. Is anybody holding anybody gun on their head to say, okay, if you do traditional marriage, you not marriage. The only one said that is even legal is courts. So I don't know who, when she says they are forcing, they force us to take our tradition, to take our... Oh, but practice what you want to practice. Guys, I'm from a family where some people are traditional worshippers. And we, we tolerate them, we understand them and they understand us. When we are doing events, they do whatever they want to do. We do whatever we want to do and everybody is happy. Nobody is feeling like somebody is going to kill them. Somebody is going to not kill them. Somebody, that one is a personal thing that people put in their children, in their families. She's not complaining about these people taking our religion according to her because of maybe for something else. She's not even, it's just because of men. What of the women? Don't women have emotions? Don't we have feelings? Don't we have, I don't understand like, ah, do you know that actually some women are actually polygamous? Guys, we've all read stories, we've all watched movies. You're making it look like women are naturally monogamous. Some people make those comments and look at them and laugh. Forcing our men to be doing so for, so for, so for, so for, so for, so for, in the name of my And you're telling me. Who is this show? Control, 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 control. What is show? Control, 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 control. Is it a sin to masturbate? Let me know in the comment section. That as a woman, that the, you, you are still going to be insulting your husband. If after watching my video, you continue pointing fingers at your husband that he's a cheat, you are an evil woman and you this. You are supposed to be ostracized from the land. Ostracized from which land? <laughs> See the way this one is so backwards. Which one is ostracized from the land? <laughs> from the land of Abuja. <laughs> Let me even just be open minded now. There are some men that want to marry more than one wife. But I think from the beginning, you should tell this girl, I'm a polygamist. It's up to her to accept. Okay, oh, I agree. Oh. You will marry more than one wife. There are so many girls that are open to it. But be truthful about it. Know when you're doing like, oh, I'm the light of your world, that you're the only one, I can never try it. And next thing you're bringing one woman to the house and you're telling me, uh, you're telling me I'm supposed to, I just accept it because of say you're a man. If after watching this video, you say you must cheat on your husband, that you cheat, you cheat. 
You should be spat on. Sha, you see who spit on? Because you're spitting rubbish. Your mind is spitting fat. You're standing like a, a fighter, a warrior. Uh, you that is a cultural woman. It's, it's, a, it's a woman supposed to be doing like this in our culture. A woman is supposed to be tame. A woman is supposed to be calm. You should be ostracized. Pursued out of the land. It's a sacrilege for a woman to open her mouth to say that. You don't compare yourself to a man. That's a, a way to scold you. This is why it's very dramatic. I thought I'm dramatic. The way she said, this is a scotro. They say scotro. <laughs> you don't have a scotro. The men have it. So you don't compare. There is no room for comparison. The Western colonization has affected us. The Western colonization has killed us. That is why Titan will not stop. Psychic will not stop. I want to ask a question. Is it marrying hundred wives that makes psychic stop? Are you trying to tell me that if the men marry all the women in this world, they will not stay once more? They will not still say, okay, well, since all the women are finished, let us look for something else that we can now be, you know. Is that what he is trying to tell me? Let's look at it in my own way. They gave us cheating. He is cheating on you. What do you call cheating? Our fathers married many wives and they stayed in love. Who told you? Tell us. <laughs> This is the one that is to bust my head. They live in peace and harmony because of fear of their husbands beating them, because of fear of society, what society will say. Because of them, if you try them, they feel floggy for village, they feel naked, you beat the hell out of you for village square. That is why. If they were allowed, those women in those days were allowed to live the normal way, okay, my husband married the three wives, more of us did. You will see the knocking, we still see it. You see the knocking that will be going on in that house, the beatings, the fightings, the, the jealousy, the enviness. That will be going on. So women, their husbands, maybe they slept with them this week. They want to sleep with the next wife the next week. It will be paining them that they are even sleeping with the next wife. They've already slept their own, but it will be paining them. And that's how problem will start. So all this nonsense talk of uh, men lived in peace, our father fathers lived in peace. Please, it is not to rule. I've seen even in these modern times, the people that marry more than one wife, their wife is to fight. And most times, it's something that is holding them together. Maybe the man who dies. They have concubines without jealousy. Once he can take care of them, they live happily. What of those that their husbands could not take care of them? Were they living happily? They have wickedness, hatred. My fellow men, the only thing is oh, my fellow men. Fear woman. Fear oh, woman. she's a fear man. Is the only person she very make up. Face to face. Eat apple. You did not eat the apple. If a woman tells you she's going to kill you, is she wearing make up? She's not my fellow men. She says she will kill you. Fear women. That's why she's a woman. So we we'll fear you too. Why can't we just? honor our marriage vows. If we want to be true to ourselves, the people that married like the way she's saying it, their marriages are never happy. And I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. What do you think about this video? What do you think about what this lady said? Does it make sense to you? Or oh, I'm just being sentimental? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click on the bell button to get notified. So whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to get it. And I love you guys so much for watching. Until my next video. Salute!